I'm Aaron Van Tile with the Washington State Office of the Insurance Commissioner, and I'm here to talk to you about Medicare today. Open enrollment is currently going through December 7th, but your coverage won't start with your new plan until January 1st, 2025. We're going to have a series of videos coming out for you, but we're going to start with what you can do and what your options are. If your Medicare Advantage plan has sent you a discontinued letter and you need to find a new option. Remember, Medicare won't choose another Medicare Advantage plan for you. You need to take action and do that yourself. If you don't choose a new plan, you'll still be enrolled in Medicare Part A and Medicare Part B, but you won't have a prescription drug coverage and some of the services you want covered might be a little bit more expensive than you're used to. You have two options for how you can receive your Medicare benefits. Option one, you can find a new Medicare Advantage plan. Option two, you can get an original Medicare plan and Medigap and Medicare Part D. Option one, you've decided to get a new Medicare Advantage plan. If you're covered by Medicare Advantage right now, this will be par for the course for you. These plans pay for prescription drugs and they have more benefits than original Medicare. You can visit Medicare.gov and use the Plan Finder tool to find the plan that fits you best based on your location and budget, and then watch our next video for a little bit more about how to handle all that. Option B is you can get an original Medicare plan and Medigap and Medicare Part D. We get it, it's a little bit wordy, it's tough to spit out. But if you're on original Medicare, which is Part A and Part B, you'll probably also need a Medicare Part D prescription plan and a Medicare supplement plan, also called a Medigap plan. The Medigap plan pays for the out-of-pocket cost for services covered by Medicare, but it doesn't cover services unless Medicare pays first. You'll use that same Medicare plan finder tool and choose a Part D plan for your prescription drugs. You can also use the tools on the OIC website to choose a Medigap plan. Remember, you need to get all of this done by December 7th for the new coverage to start on January 1st. So those are your two options. We'll go over more details in our next video.